but I have no desire to stay in my position longer than is needed to ensure the path to economic growth is assured. Gordon Brown's decision to stand down as Labour leader, swiftly welcomed by some Labour MPs. John Mann from Bassett Law, who became the first Labour backbencher to call for him to go on Saturday, held it as a wise and brave decision, hoping the party would now regroup to fight the Tories in opposition. In opposition or as part of a Lib Lab coalition, who will the party turn to to fill the void? Following Mr Brown's announcement, the Cabinet arrived at Downing Street for talks. The possibility that one of their number will eventually emerge as Labour's new leader. Speculation for months rather than minutes has surrounded the Home Secretary, Alan Johnson. The former trade unionist was a very likely candidate for the top job. However, he has previously said he is not interested. Friends suggesting the MP for Hull West and Hessel would not stand in the way of the new generation. The MP for Morley and Outwood, Ed Balls, another highly likely candidate. Despite a scare during last week's election, the Secretary for Children, Schools and Families has worked closely with Mr Brown for over 15 years. Another Cabinet Minister tip for the top, the Foreign Secretary David Miliband. Miliband has denied claims and he wishes to succeed the current leader, facing criticism after he wrote an article about Labour's future, which included no mention of Mr Brown. Other potentials include Deputy Leader Harriet Harman, Welsh Secretary Peter Hain, Health Secretary Andy Burnham and the Secretary for Energy and Climate Change Ed Miliband. The odds-on favourite, however, Ed's brother David. Within minutes of Mr Brown's speech, bookies had him ahead of his colleagues. No odds yet on when the baton could be passed.